Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I'm making a picnic table. See you in a minute. Now there's been a, a lot of increased feed on um, Facebook and WhatsApp this time of lockdown of stupid things coming up on Instagram and all sorts of things and, and one of the things that seems to have appeared in multiple occasions is the picnic table for squirrels. Now I regard squirrels as, as tree rats and when it first came up on our WhatsApp group um, for men in sheds there were a lot of references to being ideal for something you could aim at them for when you're shooting them and I would probably tend to agree with that. However, um, there was then a suggestion by Joe from Age UK who's, uh, who sort of fund our shed largely um, about there being the possibility of uh, a packet of biscuits for the first person that would show a photograph of one and really I'm a tart so this is the the build of that squirrel table um, I'm not intending to leave it up for more than half a day because I don't want to get used to it but I will do anything for a packet of biscuits so let's just have a look I've been outside I've just grabbed a couple of bits of old decking timber that were lying up the side of the house up the passageway there uh, and I'm going to see if I can make something out of it so that's what I've found a couple of lengths of decking they're not the same pattern but I think we'll be okay with it what I've th that's the sort of thing we're talking about it's just essentially a, a table with two chairs and an a-frame and I've just been trying to measure up to get a rough idea of the sort of size this needs to be in relation to a squirrel size so I think we're looking at about 150 mil across for the table and two chair two benches either side so what I think I'm going to do is to chop this piece in half that would be the tabletop then cut the other half in half lengthways that will make the two benches either side and then I can chop this one up into probably something about 40 mil thick I don't know it's just under 120 so it might be like 35 mil or something pieces to make up the a-frame and the cross braces and i'm hoping i'll have enough to do that if not i've got another piece of stuff that was left over from the benches i did over at stoke prior school similar sort of thing slightly thinner but i can use that as well if necessary so that's the plan. Um, first up, I think, is to chop that one in half lengthways and widthways, and we'll move on from there. I'll just trim the ends up as well because they're a bit rough. Now of course this isn't really about making squirrel bird tables, the whole point of doing the video was just to highlight what's going on within men's sheds at the moment uh, as a result of all the problems caused by um, COVID-19. The whole ethos of men in sheds is to prevent social isolation of people and of course the first thing that's happened with this is that they've locked everybody in their houses and they can't get out and about now the various organizations have responded in in lots of different ways um, we've got effectively three levels of organization that are indirectly or directly affecting what our shed does in in Bromsgrove the at the very top level the men's sheds uk organization they have a facebook page and they are 
effectively keeping all the sheds in touch with one another through a mixture of um, posts on Facebook there's the odd zoom conferences going on which are, are great but are not a lot of the people um, certainly in our shed and many of the other sheds would be that au fait with using zoom I've, I've used it on a couple of occasions with our model railway club and it's it's very good um, we've had sessions of an hour and a half or more I believe Barrett Homes have offered to fund a license for zoom for our shed um, which will be great uh, what quite what the take-up will be I don't know but it's something which is being done to try and just keep people in touch with one another now there's then the the level of effectively like our area level um, Age UK are heavily sponsoring our shed and provide a huge amount of backup for us and they are pushing um, lots of information out by way of newsletters on Facebook by way of uh, WhatsApp they've set up a WhatsApp group that all of the shed members for Ready Chan Bromsgrove are all on and we seem to spend most of our time exchanging stupid pictures with one another but at least it does keep that contact with people the local level um, not only are we responding through Facebook and WhatsApp there's a, a lot of people that will fall through the net on that people that don't want to use Facebook people that aren't happy with WhatsApp or don't want to put it on their phones or anything and what's happened is that there's a whole load of um, phone calls being made by various members to those who can't get the contact as a means to try and keep that isolation from um, becoming a problem but it, it is really a fundamental undermining of the whole men in sheds ethos the, the current situation so we're having to um, keep our chins up and uh, try and keep everybody on board with it several of the uh, people are I'm sure finding it hard but there's not a lot you can do as long as you're being confined to your own premises so I thought not only doing the challenge um, to actually make the squirrel bird table and putting the pictures up I thought not only would that help um, to lighten the mood a bit and show people what's going on and I also thought if I put a video out at the same time as well um, it at least gives people something to watch if they're interested and uh, again keeps people in touch with one another and they can comment or whatever else so that's where we are at the moment Men in Sheds is, is dormant for the present I've got a whole load of things I want to get on with that I could do with being down at the shed for and indeed I was turning some wood spindles or I wanted to turn some wood spindles um, my lathe is not big enough to do it I was going to go down to the shed to do it but alas again that is out of bounds at the moment so it is a problem uh, it's a minor problem for us but for many people it's uh, much more of an issue and that's why I think we should all make sure that we're we're ringing up friends family anybody that you know um, just to keep in touch because it's if they're on their own all they've got all day is constant news and unfortunately in the moment most of that news is all about covid and how bad everything is and there are very few good stories coming out of it so um, hopefully we can lift the mood a bit and folks will soon be back to normal we'll all be back to our old ways it'll take years i'm sure but we'll get there in the end and uh, let's just hope everybody that we get meet at our shed we'll be back there again as soon as we let out of lockdown oh 
there we have it, a squirrel feeding table. They can come now and uh, pester our garden for a day or two, but it won't be up for that long. I'll put a hole in it just to screw it to the fence so it'll cantilever out from the wall. And they will hopefully stay away from our bird feeders for a while. Hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, look forward to seeing you next Saturday. We'll be doing something different and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.